Ah, uh, just another day. What do I walk first? Go again? Nope, nothing changed there. Uh, it's still the interrupt thing. Whatever the heck that be. We need to use on this block. Hmm. Huh? Alright. Update. <coughs> Let's see this. Hey guys, I want you to give you all an update on a project of mine. For the last month or so, dude, it's been like since April. This has been teased. I've been dropping hints about a new game, and it's true that I. Been working on Call of Duty Six, if you like. But after forcing myself to keep working on it day after day, I realized something. I just don't want to work on this. Which each game we read, I think the XP should get higher and higher for the next. I'm like, we so. Each game should be better than last, but that pressure starts to mount, and I feel that fear that. I've been navigating on things in my life for the sake of trying to keep up with those the expectations. So after giving this a lot of thought, I decided that I'm going to stop working on it. I'm not going to reveal anything else about what the game was, and ask other people involved to not they'll never divulge anything either. It's not going to be talked about. Does that mean I'm going to stop working on games altogether? No, that's not what me at all. It just means I want to get back to the game making enjoyable in the first place. It's also the thing I'm doing for now. In fact, the first to make would be something for you guys. And now Foxy Fighters for Update 2. I loved working on that game. It was a lot of fun and Press it off me knowing it was just fans of the game. That's the kind of project I want to work on again. Maybe I try my hand on Peace Tycoon again. Who knows? The point is that I will be so mean for fun and something for the fans. There's also something else in the works. The movie is fans with Blumhouse. You could I'm also working on you need to get a VR type of support because that'd be awesome. And also, of um, uh, course, I can't wait everyone to hang with the cliffhanger at the end of the second book. There's a cliffhanger at the end of the second book as well. Jeez Louise. But as far as the kings are concerned, I think this is where I step back. I actually have a lot to catch up to do myself when it comes to faggies. I still need to pay for it. Candy Three, to all your creators, Pop Goes, uh, Night of Fun Thieves, and some of those too. I'm way behind. I hope you can respect and understand my decisions. I want then more to me and get back to not me, me enjoy making games in the first place. I give you all, all more updates as things happen. As always, Did your store. What? You what? You what? Did the the this? The this? This? After what? We seen this on FNAF World. After losing this, these fucking eyes of the Navel, you believe me to not think of the Nav 6 where these fucking eyes are still on fucking the Nav world? Are we still without them? Oh, we know this website, you can easily do that. 
has been done before. But this, this is weird. Don't expect this. Okay. 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 <sighs> Hmm. Wait, so he's played the first two Final Fantasy games? Wow. That's actually kind of weird. Hmm. He's been playing, he's been doing FNAF. Playing FNAF fan game. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. He got so nice to carry. See, so she's been playing the first two. It uh, looks like. But damn. She's a weak. Just be better than that. But that part starts to mount. I know how that feels like continuing a story is kind of hard to do. I mean, each sequel should be better than last, should have rolled something else, you know? But you did that for. But the smaller special games were very similar. I mean, they had the same set of mechanics for the first four games. And while people still enjoy them, we weren't really asking for that much. Yes, expectations got higher and higher because it's time you were introducing a new gameplay mechanic. Like, for the second game, instead of closing doors, you had no doors, you had a flashlight instead, and a sweaty head to protect yourself. In the third game, you had to use sound to do more thing track away and manage in your ever ever erring system to keep swing track away from you. And in the fourth game, well, it was kind of like FNAF 1 all over again, but this time you had to close doors at the. if you heard breathing, and flash your light if you didn't hear it. And you had to keep an eye on the feathers and Foxy. And just the locations just changed that ear up even more with each night. Like introducing a new gameplay mechanic, which was really interesting for something fun. Well, I, yes, I raised my expectations a bit higher after this location. Probably because it was one of my favorite FNAF games. Uh, people don't really play these games for the store, for the gameplay. No, seriously, I don't think people play these games for the gameplay. It's more the story. The underlying themes of what's going on, or what, what's happening, what is going on. And you left it for these guys with my fucking eyes! I I'm still mad at that. I'm still mad. If you were going to mouse that to forget about FNAF 6. Least you can do, Scott! Remove the freaking eyes! It's not that hard! The kicked him out, man. I creeped me out. And I'm sick! But work on whatever you feel like. Work on Foxy Fighters 2. 
a piece of your tycoon can get you. Doom game. We know that sounds interesting. It's going to be hard to be interesting. If I were ever give you an idea on piece of your tycoon. A piece of your tycoon game. Make it kind of like Dacious and Freddy. Where the animatronics are still there trying to kill you. And that game is mysterious in of itself. Like it still ties into lore and all that. You know? Try something like that. That, that could work. Maybe. Even though FNAF will, is still one of my favorite spin-offs, seriously, it's, it's a good RPG, it's just hard to recommend it because it's so hard to get into, because there's so many things that will get you away to join it, but when you do enjoy it, it is the greatest thing ever, seriously. I keep on going back to that game every single time. It's a weird good game. In my eyes. But not Scott's apparently because he can't wait till day three. Still complaining about that. Anyway. It's a fun game. Why? I admit yes. Working on games for one series for three years yes three years maybe no no but we all love this series and if this turns out to be a troll Scott if this turns out to be a troll I am marching all the way over to test it. Find out where the heck you were and punch you in the face. Got that, Scott? I'm going to come after you. But this all turns out to be a troll. Stupid stuff. We have to find something in there. Yay! Fun! What about the. What are you what is this got to say? Mm. Is this all? Is it not? I don't know. Well, I keep you guys updated in case it turns out to be a troll or not. So, see you guys next time.